Ireland. <laughs> so a very warm well welcome to everyone. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all into my home. Friends of Mount Pleasant, residents, family, we've got a little baby, black, white, brown. <laughs> Typical representation of the Zimbabwe we want. We're all here because we're super passionate about the constituency of Mount Pleasant. No hint. Right, I'm going to cut straight to it. If you'd asked me where I would be today a year ago, I certainly would not have said here. Last year, as we all know, the Reserve Bank Governor, Dr. Mangujwa, made an announcement that rocked me to my core. With such ease and no support in legislation, he casually announced the introduction of the bond note. I'd already been outraged by the introduction of the bond coin, and here we were continuing along the same illegal path. <clears throat> to say that I was appalled is an understatement. The silence of our legislators and parliamentarians on this direct infringement of our laws was even more alarming. Our government was unapologetically breaking the law, and so when I was asked to step outside my comfort zone and speak out for those who do not or would not have completely understood the legal implications of the issue, I had to agree. Unbeknown to me, this encounter with the governor and the passionate young Zimbabweans who attended this dialogue would lead me down a path I would never have imagined. A path that has forced me to look outside myself and find in my fellow Zimbabwean a glimmer of the hope and desires of this flag. On this path, we had to help one another raise our whispers into a roar, to speak out, to ask questions, and to act, to see within each other the solutions we have for our future. Along this journey, we built friendships, found common purpose, disagreed, protested, argued, and even been arrested for sitting peacefully in the park. Yes, Nash, I'm looking at you. <laughs> the more we sought answers, the more we realized that there was no one willing to give them. The more we fought to raise the discourse on the sanctity of our constitution, the more we realized that we'll have to do more to defend it. We tried to encourage accountability and transparency, but we've been met with resistance, half-truths, and more ironically, silence. Our government is asleep, and our parliament has been largely incapable of representing the best interests of the citizens. There are reports of parliamentarians who spend an entire year without saying a single word. How can you represent the concerns of citizens if you never stand up to be counted? We've watched dubious legislation passed through Parliament with very little opposition and even less civic engagement. When was the last time our members of Parliament came straight into the community to discuss issues or deliberate proposed policies? Citizens are largely forgotten in the season between elections, yet our lives are lived in these silent moments. We are faced with a government who are unwilling to listen to us and seem unable and unwilling to reform. And we've not asked for much, just for a government that's honest, that's transparent, and committed to the future of all Zimbabweans, and not just the few. It's clear to me now that the Zimbabwe of the future cannot be built from the sidelines. It's time for a new generation of public servants to arise. A generation that understands that leadership means service and not privilege. It's against this backdrop today that I'm announcing my intention to run as an independent candidate for the Mount Pleasant constituency. Home in one way or another since 
another for as long as I can remember. I, int I attended a junior school at Helene and the senior school at Arundel. Yes, Arundel. <laughs> I built my confidence and profession on the University of Zimbabwe campus and I've made my home in this neighborhood. The issues of this community are my issues. The frustrations of burning waste, police roadblocks, increased crime, dangerous potholes, among many others, have also affected me directly. The time has come for me to channel my energies into my community in the hopes that it will be a small contribution to changing our nation. I will continue to participate in all areas where my voice, expertise, and knowledge may be of use, but I will remain an advocate for youth participation in shaping our national discourse. Mm -hmm. My decision to run for MP has not been easy, and it has come out of the realization that we need more voices within Parliament mm -hmm. who care about the issues that are affecting everyday Zimbabweans. We need to take our concerns into Parliament and apply the pressure we've been applying through various platforms in our legislative body. We need to increase the quality of the debate. It's not enough for citizens to speak out about their frustrations only to have a weak Parliament that does not mirror our energies and that does not bring citizen issues to the fore. It is therefore my desire to carry this mandate for the Mount Pleasant constituency community, to become a loud voice within Parliament for the issues that affect our day-to-day -day lives, to ask the questions that we've been shying away from asking. And so in the next three months, I'll be visiting residents of the Mount Pleasant constituency to build consensus on the issues that affect the different demographics of our beautiful and diverse community. And it's from this grassroots approach that we shall determine the most pertinent issues for Mount Pleasant residents and how best to address them, seeking solutions from the community instead of prescribing them. As young Zimbabweans, the time has come for us to acknowledge that being passive is making us complicit in the failure we see around us. For too long, we've elected people to represent us in Parliament, in Council, and in Senate, only to be disappointed. Too many of our elected officials are never seen in our constituencies until it's election time again. Too few of them are found in Parliament when it's time to hold the government to account, to ask the difficult questions and to ensure that they are working in the best interests of the people. I'm surrounded today by some residents of Mount Pleasant who kindly agreed to support my bid to run for Parliament in this constituency. It's my promise that I'll represent this community with honesty, with integrity and with passion. I will spend the same fervor and zeal I've used in my professional career in the legal field to advocate for Mount Pleasant and the interests of Zimbabwe's emerging generation. You heard it said, be the change you want to see. And never has this been truer for Zimbabwe than it is today. I am Zai Magere, and I'm running for MP. Yeah. Is wondering, you know, well, I would be empty. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'm always on the other side of asking questions.